Hey everyone, Corey Janoff here. And today I have several thoughts that I'm gonna try and piece together into one cohesive message. And it all surrounds the idea or the question of how do we create a financial strategy or an investment strategy in an uncertain world? As humans, we really struggle with uncertainty. You know, if we don't know how things are going to play out, if we don't know what's going to happen next, our stress levels spike, our anxiety spikes, um, we just don't deal with it very well as human beings. And one of my favorite industry figureheads, Carl Richards, um, he, he writes a column for the New York Times. He he's has a couple books. Uh, definitely encourage you to check out his stuff if you aren't familiar with him already. But he talks about this concept a lot. Um, you know, and, and how the, the media doesn't help matters at all. He talks about the financial media as the financial pornography networks. You know, they just drill in and prey on this uh, idea that we want certainty and we want explanations for things when there may not be a good explanation uh, for things and we really may not be able to predict the future. You know, we turn on the news to find out how is the U.S.-China trade war going to affect my investments or what is... XYZ company's earnings report mean for the overall economy. You know, we're looking for answers and, and looking to find an explanation for all of this so we can try and act on it, when in reality, we really don't know what it means in the big picture. We can take some guesses, but until it all plays out, we really don't know. And it's darn near impossible to predict the future. We just have to accept that we're not going to know everything ahead of time. It's really hard to embrace that reality, but the sooner we can embrace it, the better off we'll be with creating and sticking with a financial strategy. And so how do we go about doing this? You know, everybody wants the perfect strategy that has great results with no risks. I do too. It doesn't exist though. You know, there's no such thing as as a perfect investment or perfect financial plan that, that only produces good results and avoids all bad results. So, um, you know, one of my mentors, he has a good analogy. He calls it the Aaron Rodgers analogy. He's uh, from Wisconsin. He's a big Green Bay Packers fan. And you know, I think we all, anyone who's a football fan, can probably agree that Aaron Rodgers is a pretty good quarterback and the Green Bay Packers have a good chance of winning when he plays, you know, if he's injured, it's probably not great for the Packers, but when he's healthy and playing, they have a good chance of winning. But, you know, Aaron's not going to be perfect every single game. And, you know, the analogy goes as follows. I've got a great idea. Let's play Aaron Rodgers on the downs that he's going to throw for a touchdown or a first down, and then we'll sub him out of the game on downs where he's going to throw an incompletion or an interception. And everyone understands that that's impossible to do because we can't predict what's going to happen until the play actually unfolds. Uh, but that's the same with your investments. You know, we don't know what's going to happen until until things actually unfold. And you know, the Green Bay Packers would be crazy to sub Aaron Rodgers out of the game the moment he had a negative play, or the, if he had a bad game to bench him for the next game. You know, I think it's. Uh, it's fair to say that in totality, he's going to have more good plays than bad plays and ultimately uh, be more successful than not uh, throughout the course of a game and the course of a season. And in order to realize the benefits of, of his talents and his good plays, you have to embrace that there's going to be some bad ones that come along with it. It's not going to be perfect. But in order to fully realize the benefits, you have to accept the, the handful of negatives that come along with all of the positives. And this is the same with your investment strategy or financial strategy. We don't want to bail on our strategy the instant we see something that doesn't go exactly as we would like it to go. So the key is develop a strategy that works for you. It's going to be different for everyone. There's no one size fits all approach, but find a strategy that's going to work for you and stick with it. Give it time to let it play out. And it's okay to change your strategy over time as your goals change and your time horizon on those goals changes. 
definitely it's acceptable to adjust that strategy, but what we really want to avoid doing is making knee-jerk reactions and pulling the plug on what is otherwise a, a pretty good sound strategy just because it's not going perfectly, because nothing's going to be perfect. Um, we just have to accept that. So the sooner we can embrace that, the sooner we can be content with our, our financial strategy and investment strategy, the less stress that uh, we'll, we'll realize, our anxiety levels will go down. Just embrace the uncertainty, accept that it's not always going to be perfect. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but just stick with your plan and let it play out. Mm -hmm.